The Traxxas USAC Silver Crown Series made its annual stop to the Indy State Fairgrounds for the Hoosier 100 with 22 cars on hand to compete. Noblesville, Indiana's Brian Clausen was in attendance aboard the RW Motorsports Curb Records Agajanian No. 17 and was attempting to become the first person in years to race the Hoosier 100 and the Indy 500 on the same weekend. Clausen outqualified the field with a time of 34.768 seconds, but a pill draw put him in the fifth starting spot for the night's 100 lap feature. Clausen's teammate, Jerry Coons Jr., the defending champion of the event, drew the number three pill to start on the inside of row two. Cody Swanson pulled the number one pill, but it was outside pole setter Tracy Hines who got the jump at the start, while Coons went three wide with Bud Kading and Swanson to take the second spot heading into turn one. Hines began to pull away as a four-way battle for the second spot ensued. Two wide in turn two, Coons took over the runner-up spot while Kading worked to the outside of Swanson. Heading down the backstretch, Kading took over the third position over Swanson and Clawson to round out the top five. The lap 14 restart punched the field in a rows of two, and Coons got the jump on Hines to take the lead into turn one, while Kading moved inside of Tracy to take over second. Clawson ran fourth over defending series champion Levi Jones, just as Brian Tyler moved to the sixth spot, coming up from his 11th starting spot. Near the midway point of the event, Coons continued to lead over Bud Kading, who had moved to second, and Tracy Hines, who was running third, while Cody Swanson was trying to fend off the challenge of Brian Tyler, who blew up in turn one. This brought out the caution on lap 45. Over the final 50 laps of the event, Jerry Coons Jr. totally dominated and lapped up to fifth place to earn his second consecutive Hoosier 100 victory. Three-time series champion Bud Kading ran second, followed by defending series champion Levi Jones. Bobby East and pole sitter Cody Swanson rounded out the top five. He's out of the car. That crew is a happy crew. A two-time Hoosier has the winner giving a round of applause. Jerry Kern Jr. Oh, to win two in a row is unbelievable. I mean, just to win one. Uh, I was looking at the shirt today with my name on the back with Foyt and all those guys that are on there and it was pretty incredible and to be able to add a second one is just uh, very, I just can't even put it into words. You know, we three in a row for the team. I, mean, I don't know what to say, it, uh, just a combination of everything, but you know, Steve Weirich uh, puts together a great team in this RW Motorsports. Tucson, Arizona's Jerry Coons Jr. celebrates his second consecutive victory in the Hoosier 100. This is Dean Mills reporting for USACRacing.com.